you are color grading for hours and it still looks like shit, this video is for you. I film cars for a living and I'm gonna show you my quick and easy process on how to get clean color grades every single time. So let's make color grading fun again. We're going to color grade some of the clips of my recent Ferrari 348 short film. We are in the DaVinci Resolve in the color tab and I'm going to open up the gallery, my power grade section and I'm gonna drop in my power grade in the notes section. Make sure your notes section here is open. This is just my note tree that I always use. And if you want to get this exact power grade, I will drop a link in the description and you can simply drop it into your power grades section. We can close the gallery right here. Okay, this looks awful, I know, but we're gonna fix it right now. I always start with my white balance node, open up the effects step, and if you drag the Kelvin slider here to the left, you will make it colder. And if you drag it to the right, you will make it warmer. We are going for a warm fall look, so let's set it to 5600 kelvins right now. I'm gonna close this. Then we can move over to our exposure tab. And then I usually start with going to the HDR. And I'm going to slightly lower my exposure here. And then as we can see here, the highlights are very bright. So I will go to my color wheel and I will drag the highlight slider down. This already looks way better. Now we might want to bring back some detail into our shadow areas right here. So I'm just gonna bring this up just a little bit. And I'm also going to bring back my midtones. Usually this brings back like a nice dense color. So let's put it to minus 01 for now. Maybe let's bring down the gain slider here to somewhere around this. You can always go back and forth between your um, notes until you feel that it looks good. It's not always perfect from the first time. And when we go to the curve here, I'm gonna slightly change the curve here and bring the upper dot a little bit more upwards so it doesn't crush our blacks. So somewhere around here looks clean for me personally. Then we are going to the vignette. Let's check the vignette and the window right here. And to toggle it on or off, you can just click the number of the node. And what the vignette does is it will make the outside of your image darker. So it draws more attention to the center. But sometimes you might have to just go to the vignette and the window section. And you might have to change the location of your vignette. You can make it smaller to make it stronger or you can make it bigger to make it softer. And then you can even soften it out with a pink dot right here. Something like this looks good. We don't want to have it too strong because then it's clearly visible and I don't like that. For the gradient here, this darkens the bottom part of your image, which is always nice when you have like a car on the lower line of thirds. And then I'm just going to bring it more downwards so it only affects like the bottom part and not the actual car again you can soften it out to your own desired look but for me this looks good so it's just subtle but this is for me perfect and if you want to have some glow you can toggle on the glow node here and if you go to the windows you can also change it and you can even make it stronger by using the gain and gamma slider. But for now, I'm gonna turn it off. I'm not gonna use it for this grade. This already looks good, but there's a few more changes that I would like to make. I'm going back to my exposure and I'm gonna drag the gamma just a little bit lower. I like the more darker, moodier look, unless you want to go for like a brighter image, you don't have to do this. But for me, this actually looks nice. Now, if we look at the whole image, the greens and the orange kind of look saturated. So let's reset this note. And if you're going for a softer look, you can go to the color slicer tab right here. And here, if you press this dot, you can see which colors you are affecting. And here you can change the density and the saturation of a certain color. Here it says skin tones, but we are affecting here the leaves. So if we slightly drag this up, it will become a little bit darker and here we can 
lower the saturation for example somewhere like this and if we want to do the same for like the yellowish part we can do exactly the same and we drag it to our desired look so this looks softer unless you want to go for a more saturated look you can just choose whatever you like for now i'm gonna leave it off and for the sky i see some blue that i don't really like so i'm gonna turn on the sky note and i'm going to the curves u versus saturation we pick here like the blue from the sky then it will select here these dots and i'm gonna slightly lower the saturation of the blue i might want to increase the range here just a subtle change but for me this looks much better if you look at the windshield the blue just doesn't match with all the other colors so that's why i like to desaturate it and for me personally this looks much better for the lut this is just the built-in lut from davinci resolve and there is one more thing that i would like to do i'm gonna press option s and go to effects and go to cinematic haze and this will give you like a foggy background this will help to separate your car from the background to make it more cinematic right so of course this looks terrible but let's fix it you can use the far and near sliders to push the fog backwards so let's check this out we want the fog behind the car somewhere between the trees this already looks nice but i'm gonna do change it a little bit more because it's too much it has to be soft so and after you play with the sliders a little bit this is before and this is after you can clearly see that it separates your background from the car making it look much better do note that this is a paid feature for davinci resolve also note that using the haze feature is pretty taxing on your system so as you can see here the playback will be super slow and that's why i always toggle it off and when i'm exporting my video i will just toggle it on and if we open up our clips we can easily copy this color grade hold command select your clips right clip apply grade and then you go over the exact same process clip by clip to adjust them to your own liking and if you want you can easily select two clips click this button here and then selected clips and then you can easily color grade them next to each other for example these two clips and here you can use your scopes and your visuals here to match your color grade from this one to this one and if you want to learn how I color grade these McLaren clips using the exact same system, watch this video next.